This is Hazarajat. Hazarajat lies in the central highlands of Afghanistan and is the original homeland of the Hazara people. Hazaras have distinct similarities to Mongols. They predominantly belong to the Shia sect of Islam. Hazaras comprise the third largest ethnic group of Afghanistan, making up to 20% of the country's population. Hazaragi culture goes back to the second century. The traditional wedding accentuates unique and adaptive nature of Hazaragi culture. The wedding brings together every facet of cultural life from traditional music, clothing, food, and ritual. Traditionally, Hazaragi marriages were arranged between the elders of both families. With access to education and increasing awareness to the rights of women, marriage is now generally accepted as a consensual agreement between both the bride and groom and their families. The most respected elderly male in the family advises the young groom on what marriage entails and would seek his approval on their choice of wife. Should the groom seek approval for his choice of wife, he may ask his parents to take a formal marriage proposal to the bride's family. Women from the groom's family prepare for the formal proposal or cheshi. Proceeding cheshi is the ritual preparation of the fried pastries, bosrach, a well-known Hazargi dish prepared for special occasions. Sweets, shirni and nokol, are wrapped into shiny pieces of paper to be handed out to guests at the ceremony. This is a relatively new practice incorporating rituals specific to different regions. As Hazaras travel, they return to their villages with new ritual practices incorporating them into their own and influenced particularly by those practiced by Hazaras living in neighboring countries of Pakistan and Iran. Both the bride and groom's family meet and greet each other at ceremony of Cheshi, where sweets and gifts are presented to the bride's family. Although the precise significance of sweets at ceremonies like this differs, it is often thought that it sweetens the relationship of the couple and their families. the wedding day, men from the groom's family cook food and prepare the seating arrangements whilst the women bake breads well before the arrival of the bride. The groom arrives at the bride's home. The arrival of the groom's family is a significant moment for the attendance at the wedding. As for some, this is the first time they will see the bride or the groom. The women celebrate by dancing, playing tambourine, and singing ghazals. The 
The guests are offered traditional Hazari food. The bride then leaves for the groom's house. Traditionally, the bride would ride a horse. This has now been replaced by cars. The celebration continues upon the arrival of the bride at the groom's house. 